Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday, and that means we're using Bujins. But before we begin, I kind of don't want to say something. I'm getting tired of Bujins. I really am. I do not like this deck, and I, uh, you know, uh, the only reason why it's really on here is because, you know, under the rule of uh, Daily Duels, you know, I kind of have to play the top deck because you got to know the top deck to beat the top deck, right? But I got my feel of Bujins, so I'm thinking about taking this deck off of the Daily Duels. And what I'm thinking about replacing with is the Telenites, or whatever they're called, the Telenites. You know, with Vega and Deneb and, the, and that deck, that deck. I, I want to replace it with that deck. I kind of want to play that deck, and um, I actually want to maybe make it in real life. You know, it's based off, uh, one of my favorite common Riders is based off of that. And you guys know I love common Riders, so I might... I'm, I don't know. I want your guys' opinion. You know, if you guys are getting sick and tired of Bujins, then go ahead and tell me, because I know I am. You know, it's the same shit. Just what, essentially, what I just did right there is essentially what you do. Just, you just summon Yamato, and then you just sit on it. Yep. Mount the Bound Creator. That's fine. At least I don't have to worry about you summoning Malefic Cybermen, because for some odd reason, you just didn't put him in, in the extra deck, so... I do not know why there's no Malefic Cyber End. But maybe you're not using Malefic Cyber End. Maybe, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the name of that deck, but I can't remember. They love me, so I'm just gonna activate Tanky. So, you can tell, the deck's super repetitive. The same thing over and over and over and over and over and over. So, and, and, and in comparison, the other decks are way more fun, you know? Madoche, that's a tag deck, and, and I'm having I'm having a decent time with that, and pulling up plays. Uh, you know, Mermels, uh, despite that one being a top deck, I I enjoy Mermels much more than I enjoy uh, this deck. So yeah, uh, you know, Pendulum Cash Dragons are fine. Uh, the Quacky Mirrors are fine. My opponent quitting is fine. <laughs> so we'll just go ahead and get another duel and be right back. What was that? Oh, uh, Haldics are fine. Uh, plus one Fire Fist is fine. And so every every other deck in the lineup is I'm totally fine with. It's literally just this deck that I am not okay with. It's just, I don't like dueling with it. My opponent doesn't like dueling me when I'm using it. So therefore, you know, why should I be using this deck? You know, I think out of all the decks, who you know, the people who quit, this one's the highest. This one's definitely the highest amount of quits. So like I said, I'm thinking about just. Taking it off of, uh, taking off the lineup. I don't know. Once again, you guys tell me. Anyway, let me go ahead and start telling you guys about my day. So as you can tell by the title, it says, you know, History 102 Final. Yeah, I know. I actually, I actually had the, the, the title of the episode before the episode is over. Cause sometimes I'm not really sure what to name it, and then, you know, depending on how the duels goes, I'll just name it off of something happens in duels. But no, I got this one. So History 102 Final, so finals. So as you guys know, uh, if you're in college, or I'm not sure if all colleges are the same, but you know, finals should be this week or around this time period. So for me, finals are this week. Um, I'm in History 102, and I have my History 102 final. The Seal of Ori Calcos. No, that's fine. So at least I don't have to worry about you touching that extra deck anymore. Raw's Disciple, alright. So, Silvori, I mean, Silvori Calcos, Mountain of the Bound Creator, seeing a lot of, uh, you know, you know, things like that. Uh, special summon two dungeon members cannot be You cannot special summon except. Once you accept a Ross. Okay, that's smart because if you could just go Ross the Cyber and summon three, then you could just immediately see that'd be way too powerful. So the thing is, he still got to wait a turn to tribute. So, you know, that's definitely a problem. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and activate Pot. You see, you see how boring this deck is? Lance, MST, or Veiler. I'll get the MST so I can pop his back row. But. Just not liking it. Just not liking Bujins. I'm sick of them. I don't care about the Silver War Calcos. Air Force. Oh, I could have blocked that with hair, so I don't even care. That rhymed. That rhymed. I could have blocked that with hair, so I don't even care. Rhyming? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get the bear. And, uh. You know what? Yeah. You know what? 
I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I was thinking about not doing it, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I activated pot. I activated pot. I was, you know, the thing I was, the thing I was actually thinking about doing was actually, um, was actually summoning him, going to summon a low, and going attack, 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 attack. But I forgot that I activated pot. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. So you know what? I just end my turn, and then Yamato will go off, and Mikazuchi will go off surprisingly. So you know, that's totally fine. Anyway, um, my history class is History 102, which is pretty much the second half of United States history. And we're pretty much at the finale of it. And we really, like I said in previous episodes, um, we really didn't get that far in the history class. Uh, we didn't, in history class, in the history class, we didn't even make it up to when I was born. So, uh, go ahead and activate you. And we'll guess I'll go ahead and get me a Bujin Carnation, because maybe I'll get to use it. I don't know. It's Bujins. Uh, so, I had my final, and I was, you know, me being a math major, I was sat there and I calculated uh, my grades, and I was trying to figure out, um, you know, what I'd have to pull off to uh, get an A in the class. So, uh, the thing with this class is the curve is really, really hard. Like, the, cu the curve is ridiculously hard. Okay, that's fine. You know, it'd be awesome if you had double sum, because you can go raw disciple. Yeah, you, probably. Because you know you can't activate the little red magician guy if you don't have if you have monsters on the field. Eh, whatever. Anyway. Uh so the curve is really hard, like really, 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 really tough curve. Like ridiculously tough. Like there's no extra credit. The the, the class is difficult, so Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna summon T King. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this little slow. If you dark hole me, you dark hole me. I really don't care. Wait, doesn't that block my Yamato's uh, end phase effect? I think it does. That's cute. I think it does. Because don't I have to, you know, put a monster from my uh, deck to my hand then discard? So I think I fucked myself, but I don't really care. So literally, it's 600 points. 600 points, that's it. No extra credit, no nothing. Uh, you get 100 points for participation, you have three tests, each test is worth th 100 points, so that's, you know, 300 points, and then you have four essays, and each essay is worth 50, so there you go, there's 600 points. So I was calculating to see, um, what grade I could pull off, can I pull off an A? I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if he'd give me 100% for, 100 points for my participation, but I did show up to class every single day, I didn't miss a class of history. And, uh, I answered some questions, so I think I deserve uh, 100 points, so let's say, let's say, say, hopefully speaking, I get the 100 points. I got a 90 on my first test, a 90 on my second test, so, there we go, add that in. I got a 45 on one essay, a 45 on the other essay, a 40 on one essay, and a 37 on the other essay. So, that all totals up to, um, I believe, 400 and, 447 points? Let me, let me go ahead and use my calculator on my phone, since I'm just sitting here. Uh, I mean, it's not like much is happening, it's frickin' Bujin, so, you know, you have to be like, Oh, shit, he's about to summon Yamato. He's about to take the duel slow. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of Bujins. So, uh, uh, that's 100. Oh, my punch just gonna quit. That's fine. He's gonna lose anyway, like I said. It's frickin' Bujins. So it's 100 plus 90 plus 90 plus 45 plus 45 plus 40 plus 37. Means I got 447 points. Uh, and we'll get back to that as soon as I get to another duel. So I'll be right back. Alright, so 447 points. Uh, which means that to get an A, I need, you know, because he takes your grade of 100 and then divides it by 6. By 600 and then divides it by 6. Oh, you're going to first. Of course, you're playing supply unit. Another broke gas card. How many broke gas cards in, in Yu-Gi-Oh do we have to have? So I'm probably going against that freaking uh, what's it called deck, the fucking Cosmo Dragon, because everybody and their mother wants to play that shit. All right. Awesome. Tons of background. My mother is calling me. I'll call her back when I'm done recording. She knows that I'm busy. So, 
so I'm literally just going to take the duel slow. I'm just gonna take it, set this, set this as a bluff, set this as a bluff, set this as a bluff, and pass to you. So to get an A, I need 540 points, which means that to get an A, I need 93% on my final. I don't think I could pull off a 93 to tell you the truth. I really don't. <laughs> so I just said, uh, fuck it. I'm not gonna even try. Flip up that royal decree because fuck all your back row. Like seriously. Getting really sick of all of it. So let's see if if you're actually using those uh, Cosmo dragons. Oh, now you want to activate the MST. No, that's fine. So you're like, you know what? You're gonna get on my back row because I know that's what you want. Oh, I hate back row. There's a fucking Cosmo dragons. No, you're just gonna hit me with back row. Yeah, it's the fucking Cosmo dragons. Everybody and their mother is using this card. I'm, I'm in this deck. I don't want to duel this deck, so I'll go ahead and get another duel and be right back. All right, I'm back. God, I hate that pro fucking just sit there, f it's just sitting there fucking out like, oh, can't connect the host, blah 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 blah, over and over again. Great, just, great, great. <sighs> I'm tired of this deck. The same fucking hands, same fucking shit, over and 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 over. Mom's calling me again. I'll call her back when I'm done recording. I'm still not done recording, obviously. <sighs> anyway, I'm tired of this deck. I want it gone. So, go ahead and tell me if you guys would like to see uh, Telenites. Anyway, continuing on as I was going, I pretty much need to get a 93 on this final to uh, get an A in the class. And I only need to get like a 33% on my phone to get a B. And all I want is a B. And I think I got a 33%. Like, it was. It, the test wasn't that bad. There was nothing on that test I didn't know. Uh, you know, as usual, he gives us our paper with our essay questions, possible essay questions. There's five of them on the test. Uh, he's going to pick two of them. You write about one of them. So I looked at the paper, and I'm like, it's going to be one, and it's going to be four. Yeah. And guess what? It was one and four, just like usual. I'm so fucking boss that I knew that shit. Oh, my God. She is just calling the shit out of me. What? No. You want to MST the tanky? Fine. Go ahead. I don't care. I really don't care. Even if you did, even if you were able to kill me, because you know I'm gonna lance you, uh, you'd only get oh, because you're gonna kill me and then do that. No. Like no, don't touch me. Get out of my face. That's in background, so I can roll to create your ass, and then you'll quit, just like usual. Just like fucking usual with this deck, I swear. I hope I hope your entire hand is back row. Quit. Oh, you got twenty one D at least. All right, let me draw a monster. Nope, pot. Alright, well, let me pot into a tanky then. If not, then... Fine. <laughs> oh, wait, this card cannot be targeted, so... Mimika. I'll take the duel slow. Pass to you. It's not like you can freaking do anything anyway, so... Go ahead and just activate your motto. Go ahead and get me turtle, drop me turtle. I mean, simple as that. Like I said, this, this deck is fucking simple. Fucking, just, ugh. I'm done. I'm done with it. Ugh. There's a reason why I didn't summon another monster, because the last thing I need for him to do is to go. And I tell him Mika's the last thing I need him to do is go into freaking Basilicock. So, no, thank you. If I'm going to have one monster, you're going to have one monster. We're going to have one monster. That's it. So if you want to go ahead and tribute your griffin for something else, and try to come after me, then I'll just block you with hair. So, you know, it's the same damn rendition every single time with this damn deck, so. Huh. So, uh, pretty much the test was between pretty much the beginning of World War II, like, 
World War Two to like Vietnam War. So not a lot of not a lot, but it was still enough to create a fairly decent test. Uh, I don't believe I put Armides in the extra deck, but I should have. But I don't think I did it. Nor do I think I care if I want to, because like I said, I'm planning. Like I said, if it's not going to be, it's not going to be Satellas. It's going to be something else. So I don't know. I'm just going to summon Mika, and we're just going to go right into freaking Sasana Noel. Well. I know none of you guys like Bujins. No one likes Bujins, no one likes Duel with Bujins. I don't like Duel with Bujins, I know my opponent doesn't like Dueling against Bujins, so why am I using Bujins, you know? I'd rather do something fun like Satellas and maybe, you know, work on that deck, because I really want to make that deck in real life, because I like stars and stuff, and like I said, the Kamen Rider thing, so... Uh, yeah. So, go ahead and get me Crane. Actually, I should have gotten Yamato, but it's cool. So I'll go ahead and just run over your bird thing. And my turn. So I pretty much got this entire duel locked down. Shocked! Bujins have the duel locked down. So, uh, as you guys know, well, if some of you guys I know live in Britain, I was actually talking to Lunar about it, but most of you guys know who live in the United States know that Sunday was Mother's Day, and a continuation on from, you know, uh, a Sunday's video, my car is uh, messing up. <laughs> so I need to get my car repaired, so on Sunday my mechanic was supposed to repair my car, but he wanted to celebrate Mother's Day with his damn wife, so instead of fixing my car, he had to postpone it till, uh, until, uh, until Thursday. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Oh! Wait, was it still on the field? Cause isn't it in the field? I mean, might as well. Oh, cause he's activating it on the field to tribute it. I guess. Okay. So if you wanna quit, and go right ahead. Like I said, I don't, I don't care. Oh, now you wanna MST it. Okay, I didn't MST the entire time. You should've MST'd either one of them. Sure. Okay, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, you're putting it back in your hand. Sure. And then you quit. Yeah, because I had Kaiser. I'm I'm done with Duel Link Bujins. Done. Let me just finish up my story. So we had to postpone it to do to doing the car repairs on Monday. And uh I hate Mother's Day. I think Mother's Day is a stupid, stupid holiday. Really stupid. Father's Day too, but stupid mother it's stupid. Are you thinking like Daniel? What the hell, man? It's Mother's Day. Appreciate your mother. It's Mother's Day. Yeah, you know. Why? Tell me that. Tell me this. Why should I appreciate my mother one day out of the year? She's my mother. Don't you think I should appreciate her every day? Why does she need a specific day to celebrate your mother? You should appreciate your mother every day. So why Mother's Day? You know what? So, and given that aspect, here's my ideology. To make it, so, so suppose the Mother's Day is supposed to, you're supposed to treat your mother great? Instead, how about this? How about, just to make my mother's Mother's Day even better, how about I treat her like shit the other 364 days, just so Mother's Day will be all the better, right? Because that's how it works, right? Mother's Day is stupid. Anyway, because of that, he had to do the car repairs on Monday instead of Sunday. Monday, I had my finals, so... So he had to repair my car, and because he didn't repair my car on Sunday, so my car would be ready to go on Sunday, he had to repair on Monday. Guess what I had to fucking do? I had to ride the fucking bus. Are you shitting me? So thank you for inconveniencing me. But you know what? My mechanic is, is Latino, and you know how much they love to, you know, if they can find any holiday to celebrate, they'll do it, so... Ugh. So, anyway, I had to ride the fucking bus, so great. So a person who has a car has to ride the bus, the fucking struggle. So, the way that I did it is that I, he, he decided to make a deal with me, so, uh, I had to get in the, he's like, oh, bring the car to my house, and then I'll drive you to, uh, college, and, and of course, you have to ride the bus back. So, I got in the car, drove down to his house, uh, 
he wanted to test out and see if the car would get hot or anything like that. He wanted to see how it runs, so I had him the keys, and he drove me down in my car down to the college, took the test, and then after the test was over, I just walked down the street, and I got on the bus, hop, rub, rubbed the bus down all up north, because that... I can walk the bus from... I mean, I could walk from the college to the bus stop, catch the bus up, take the bus stop down to my house. I can do those two walks, but the the, the one going north, that's a really, that's like, that's like a, that's a, a couple lights, so I'm not going to walk all that way, so. Cost me two bucks to re ride the bus, I wasted two dollars, really wish I would have had my car, thank you for inconveniencing me. Yeah, I was kind of pissed, I was kind of ticked off about that, but it's really, whatever. You know, I'm home now. <laughs> so, anyway, um, took that final. Uh, like I said, I don't think I got a 93%. I don't. 90, usually, like I said, I got a 90 on the last two finals, and I got a, I think I'm going to get a 90 on this one. You know, just how I feel, just how I write, you know. He likes that I write, but he wants me to go into a little bit more detail, and I can't give you any, any more detail. The only detail I can give you any more would be to have to read the book, and I don't read the book, so I can't give you any more detail. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Like I said, be sure to uh, comment and say, like, you know what, go ahead and put Telenites, or no, stay with Bujins, like, uh, under the under the rules of Daily Duels, I should be using Bujins, because, you know, they're one of the top decks, but I don't like this deck, it's repetitive, it's annoying, I'm just not a big fan of it, so I'm probably just going to cut it out. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Mermels. Thanks for watching.